and hi guys, this is Ben Mudge here, and today uh, I'm going to be doing some Minecraft tutorials. So, uh, it's not just different Minecraft tutorials, it'll also just be like normal ones, which kind of a lot of people know, but um, this over here, which I've started by, is the Minecraft Oz. So, you've got from coal to lapis, that's the problem, that's your front box, um, coal to lapis to diamond, redstone, iron, gold, um, emerald and quartz. So um, some of these you can make blocks out of, which you've seen me put on top if I can just get rid of the slime. So you've got lapis block. It kind of looks like blue wool but it's got a bit of a better texture on yeah. it. Uh, diamond blocks, some iron block, um, gold, lapis and then you've got three different types of um, quartz blocks, you've got normal quartz, chiselled quartz, and um, pillar quartz. And then down here, um, I've put the, the actual ore that you get when you mine it. If I get away slimes. Um, so I've got coal, lapis, diamond, redstone, iron, gold, emerald, and quartz. And down here, I've just placed down some redstone, and this is just some redstone connecting to a redstone repeater, which you can move along like that. And then um, you just got the redstone torch. Uh, okay, I think I'm going to go down here next. So, um, this is something that everybody knows uh, the nether. So, um, to make one of these portals, you're going to need to have 14 obsidian. You place it four at the bottom five on each side so uh, one two if I can get rid of these two oh seriously two. okay this is actually kind of frustrating now two three okay one two three four five one two three four five and you just build it across like that and then you've got your flint and steel and you just light it up but uh, if you're on survival mode, mode, uh, I've got loads of slime balls. Um, if you're on survival mode, um, most people do it differently, and they do the exact same, but they take out the corners and replace it with something else. So I don't really need to do that. So that's a never. I will go to that um, in a, another video. But um, now I'm going to be talking about the end portal. Um, so basically, in the um, you basically can find it in strongholds or go on creative and build it like this. But if you're on creative, you can't actually just um, build it. You have to build it like this and then get your um, eye of ender and then place them in because you can't do it on creative. So I'll go down here and build it quickly. By the way, um, if you're going to do it like this in survival, uh, it's best to not um like have a couple spare because if you place it in the wrong place um the end portal frames are um impossible to break like bedrock so in the middle you just if you're on a super flat world you dig down to bedrock but if you're on a normal world uh which isn't super flat you just dig down three blocks Uh, and then if you're on survival, you can just dig yourself out like this. And then you just go and place all of this back. There you go. And then you just get your arm vendor. And you go and place them across like this. And you just place them in each one. And suddenly you'll see that like this little eye pop up. And then um, sometimes it didn't work, as you saw then, it didn't work, but uh, you will get um, a purple end frame there. So, um, usually, if you try to find it in survival, it will be in a stronghold. Um, but if you want to collect up some of this, you can just grab some uh, cracked stone bricks, some mossy or um, normal stone bricks. But be careful because sometimes you mine it and this little mouse kind of thing comes out. Um, uh, basically, you don't want that to happen because it's called silver. It's called the silverfish, the mob, and basically it just hides inside blocks. So 
uh, be careful if you're going to mine blocks in a stronghold because um, usually there's also lots of them and if you attack one then all of them come out so I only had one there though so I didn't die so I'm going to quickly just go and hop in this bed So next, I'm not going to mine this up, but this is the TNT exploding trap. So I'm going to quickly go and build it. <coughs> and first of all, you obviously need a tree. You can see I built this one because uh, I forgot to use a sapling, but I'm going to build this. Look at these zombies. Uh, so first you just build, um, basically you just get a tree you don't need to plant one it's just obviously i'm on super flat and you can't find trees on super flat so i had to do that so you need one redstone one leather four redstone torches and 12 tnt and then you just come over to your tree you dig down two blocks and you place a leather here turn it on place a redstone there and then you just go and dig around here like this and then you just make it one more deeper cut from where the redstone is I should have got a shovel but um so you place redstone torches all the way around here which will turn them all off and then you just um, come around here and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and you just go and place your TNT down there. You just go and mine your way out. And then you just come back over to here and you <laughs> go and fill this back in. And then you can invite a player into your world and when they go to get some wood, they hit this trunk here which then destroys the level which turns off that redstone, turns on the redstone torch and blows up the tin tick. Well, I will do it, but I'm just going to quickly go over here just in case it does destroy this. So, uh, this is the automatic lighting system. So, uh, you can see, I'm just going to lock up the door. It's completely dark, and there's just a piece of wood. So, if I quickly just find this open again, uh, you can see there's this wood here, right in the middle. Place that back up. There's a button, click the button, and suddenly the glow zone comes down, and it's in the place where the wood was. And then uh, you wake up in the morning and uh, you want to turn your light off. So you click the button again, and suddenly the glow zone gets replaced with a piece of wood. So uh, I'm just going to put everything back up here. You do actually need an entire inventory. Well, not the entire inventory, but your hotbar to do this. So you need five of any material, five redstone torches, one sticky piston, two pistons, one below stone, three of whatever your um, roof material is, one redstone, one button, and two redstone repeaters. So I would build a house to do this on, but uh, I didn't have enough time to, so... Uh, I'm just going to do it like this, so you start off and you go one, two, three, and then you just go up here, I'm just going to have to do this, you don't need to use the wood, it's just I need to, to place it there, so you do like a kind of face like this, uh, and then you place a redstone torch in the middle, a redstone torch there, a redstone torch there, you get your two repeaters, and you do this, just leave it on one tick, you place one uh, normal piston, you come up here, you place, you don't, uh, just go away, it's fine. Uh, 
So then you place, oops, you place a sticky piston, place it down here. And then you place your glowstone there. Uh, and then you're going to need to fill that up. I don't see up here. Uh, but the, you don't do it on the floor, obviously you have to do it in your house. But uh, my knees up, so it's like this. And then you place the roof material there. Place that there, just a normal piston. And then back here you do one redstone. And then you do redstone torch. So down and here, place a redstone torch. And uh, this would be my house over here. So if I quickly try and find one below, so so you see this piece of wood here. I'm just gonna close this off. So I'm in my like little hut, and then you go and place your button where uh, the last redstone torch was, and then you're just like, ah, oh, it's night. I'm gonna click the button. Uh, sometimes it didn't work the first time, uh, so you may have to go back and correct it. Because it didn't actually work the first time I did it on the actual house. But, uh, I did it wrong. You've got to do the button on the block there. You've got to do the button on the block like that. I accidentally did it on the block in front of this. So you do it on the block, click it, and the glowstone comes down, click it again, and then the block comes down. So if I quickly just dig my way out this. Uh, now I'm quickly just going to go and chop this tree down then because uh, I've just done that bit. So chop the tree, <laughs> run back. And suddenly, if this was a normal world, there wouldn't be bedrock there and it would completely destroy the uh, person. So then, my next thing is, well, I've got some wood, I just realised that. Uh, my next thing is a simple piston door. You can do it with two, but you're going to need four sticky pistons, so you're going to need to top up on slime balls uh, if you're in a normal world and you're hungry. Uh, or you could just do it with one which uh, is probably the easiest because you don't need as much redstone. You only need one uh, redstone torch. And yeah, you don't need as much as everything else as well. So uh, uh, I'm gonna just do the double one and obviously for the, uh, this one, you kind of just do the same, but like minus a couple bits. So you do one, two, and then place your blocks. Uh, two space gap, place these blocks and then place your sticky piston again over here and you dig down to here, place the block yeah. oh, I forgot to get some stuff ok, I didn't put it in that just a bit you really need to craft some wood I didn't put how much wood you needed I forgot to put the wood in and also I've got some stuff here so you just do Redstone torch, block, then redstone on top, and then you do the same on the other side. Redstone torch, block, and that on top. And you dig down to where the redstone torch is, but then dig down once more, and you do that out this uh, to the right. And so you kind of do like a curve like this, because otherwise it won't work. And then also you have to dig down here. place your pressure plate on this side as well because otherwise you won't be able to get out of your house. Let me just go up here. And you're going to do the same here. And then just dig around to the redstone torch again on this side. And then you just go and place your redstone down here. I don't even know if I have enough redstone to do this but I do? Yeah, I was just, I had one more piece of redstone left. And then you 
just go and place your dirt back. Also place it here because certainly I forgot to place it there once and then I just fell straight through when I walked through the door. So you just go and place it along here. Uh, I don't have as much dirt as I need so run. Go away big slide. Two. Get away. Uh, four. There you go. These lines are really annoying. Okay, so then you just go like this, and then you get your pressure plates, you place your pressure plates there. You know what? As the slime just showed you. Whack him with my epic sword. Okay, there you go. And then you go and place it on this side as well, so there you go. That's how you do it. So I have put high speed on jobs so I can fly. Uh Go on this bed down here. I'm always going to keep my sword actually. Okay, there you go. Now I'm going to quickly fly back here. And uh, so, yeah, this uh, is just my TNT launcher because uh, most things uh, say like. Um, Put the TNT inside here and place like the button behind it and some redstone and, and some other stuff. But look what happens if you shoot TNT out of a dispenser. It literally shoots out the TNT block instead of the proper TNT. So uh, you basically just do like a really high frame like this. And like also what you can do if a, a, like a noob joins your world and they build like their own little hut here. Little dirt rubbish hut. You can just come up here and find your TNT. Like this one off. One, two, three. Like this one. Run back. And there you go. <laughs> so then uh, I'm just gonna quickly shove these back in here. And then I'm going over to my TNT cannon. We'll need to refill this each time, but uh, and the, I haven't done a thing where you can build, where it shows you how to build it. But yeah, this is it. Just have a quick look. And you just do some piston. And you just do so. Basically, you just uh, do a big circle like this. Put some obsidian in the middle. Water all the way down there. Uh, TNT around the edges. Here you do a repeater four ticks. Repeater four ticks. Repeater four ticks repeat of four ticks and you just do all of that and you just do the button so yeah lots of people know how to do this but it's really fun my one because it actually launches you back and then you hit here and then it launches you back again so watch this and then you just go on that back and die because you take four damage Uh, so yeah, that's all the um, examples I've done for today because I don't have much time to build all of them. Uh, so yeah, see you tomorrow. And also, uh, one thing I need to say is that I've changed my skin back into the Chimera. As you can see, I'm just going to quickly take my armor off. But, uh, you know last time I said I had the Chimera skin? It wasn't. It was Creep skin. And I just realised that. And as you can see, I never had this yellow bit on my back because, uh, if you saw in my game plays, uh, they've got, like, the yellow bit on their back. And I was like, oh, that's weird. My skin didn't have that. So, uh, I went on to skin pack one, which is the one it's on, and I realised I was playing with the wrong skin. So, yeah. I only just realised that. But, yeah, anyway, this was it for this video. Leave a like, uh, comment, send suggestions for the next video, uh, and also subscribe. So, yeah, this is Ben Bodge out for now.